Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm looking at another AI digital tool. And if you know me, I don't like to focus on particular tools because for me, it's not about the actual tool, it's how you actually use that tool. But this is such a fantastic tool, you'll see it's called Poe, that I really wanted to share this with you. So if you're interested in finding more about Poe, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I want to stress that this video is not sponsored by Poe or not sponsored by anybody. And I'm just recommending this because they have a free version as well as a paid version. And so if I just make myself a little bit smaller so I can move myself out of the way, I wanted to first of all show you one of the bots that I've made. And it's actually called Inquiry Engagement. I, I put a photo. My handle was Concept Based Learning. I used ChatGPT as the base bot. And then this is what I wanted my bot to do. So I'm just going to move over to this side. You're a teacher, but who specializes in teaching for deep conceptual understanding. And you'll answer questions about inquiry based learning and teaching for deep conceptual understanding by posing questions back to help lead other teachers to find the answers for themselves, which involves active learning. I'm just going to delete that uh, double learning. I'm going to say active learning activities, just creating my bot now and modifying my bot. And then I've got a greeting message. So I've named my bot May after my mother. Hello, I'm May. I hope you're doing well today. How can I help you? And then what else? I've put some details about the bot. Not very much. This is my first bot. So I just wanted to try it just to see what how the bot would respond. So this bot will provide questions and answers about inquiry based learning, designing active learning experiences and how to focus lesson planning and unit planning on deep conceptual understanding when asked a question. So I'm just going to delete that so that that is grammatically correct. Uh, I don't want to monetize it. I want it to make it publicly accessible. And now I'm going to just save that. OK, so what's going to happen? All right. It's called concept based learning operated by me. I've got one follower. I wonder if that's me. <laughs> and then there was uh, I was testing this out. And I actually posed a question, which you can see. How do I get my students on board with inquiry-based learning? You can see that uh, sometimes it's spelt with an I, sometimes it's spelt with an E. I think in the UK, they spell inquiry with an E. Uh, the rest of the world tends to spell it with an I. And then I said, how do I get my students on board? Because that is a problem and, so, and feedback that I get from teachers all around the world. You know, my students just don't want to go through an inquiry-based learning cycle. So um, you can see how wonderful the response is, this chatbot. That's a great question. To get your students on board with inquiry-based learning, it's important to create a classroom environment that engages curiosity, independent thinking, and active engagement. So here are some questions to, for you to reflect on. And I said that I didn't want the bot just to spill out answers, but actually to ask some questions. How can I spark curiosity and interest in my students? How can I empower my students to take ownership of their learning? How can I provide opportunities for independent thinking and problem solving? How can I support my students in developing their research and critical thinking skills? This is really good. And how can I provide feedback that promotes deep conceptual understanding? And it actually talks about focus on guiding questions, inquiry reflections, and constructive feedback. This is amazing. I am just so impressed with this. And so if you have any questions, please feel free to look up my bot on Poe. It's called Concept Based Learning. Uh, and that's my handle, my name. And to ask it questions, and I will check the questions and the answers as well. I can share. I can also uh, copy the message. I can delete it. I can like it. Uh, let me just type in another question just to see how it responds. Um, how, how would I design an inquiry, an inquiry based learning uh, lesson? Okay, so let's see what it says here. Designing an inquiry based lesson involves creating a structure and guiding framework that supports, let me just scroll this down so you can see it, 
that supports students in exploring a specific topic or concept while encouraging their curiosity and critical thinking. So what are some of the questions? What is the overarching concept and topic? Absolutely, you have to identify your big uh, conceptual lens on your topic. What are the learning goals? Absolutely. How can you engage students' curiosity and activate their prior knowledge? And we know that activating prior knowledge is a really effective principle of learning. Uh, what resources and materials can you provide to support students' investigation and research? Wow. How can you structure the inquiry process? How can you foster collaboration and communication? I mean, the responses that my chatbot is giving is better than what I could actually respond with, I must say. How can you integrate formative assessment throughout the inquiry process? Now, I would probably go back to my bot and I would give it instructions and not use the word formative assessment. I think that formative assessment and summative assessment kind of boxes in those types of assessment. And I like to reframe formative and summative assessment as collecting evidence of student learning. So in my bot instructions, I would actually say, you know, instead of using formative and summative assessment, use CESL, collecting evidence of student learning. And then what's the last one? How can you promote reflection and metacognition? So I just wanted to share with you Poe. It is free and it houses a lot of other AI tools. So if I actually go down to here to uh, my bots and move myself out of the way, there are all these AI digital tools here. I've started using Stable Diffusion. Uh, to create different AI images. You can see that my bot is here. I've made it public. So feel free to come and visit. And I'm going to share my link as well on all my social media. And the list goes on. The list keeps growing, as you can see. So I think Poe is a phenomenal tool. You don't need a VPN to be able to access some of the GPTs and the AI digital tools here. And that's another benefit. So thank you so much for joining me this week and I really hope to see you next time.